Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about the next D and E problem from the latest code forces round 797. So let's start. The D problem is black and white strip. So you are given actually a strip of paper of length N as you can see and it is of either black or white color like the strip segment you can say. This is the strip like let's say the strip has color black, black, white, black, white and so on. So and you just have to find out the minimum number of cells that you have to recolor from white to black such that the segment of k consecutive black cells will appear on the strip. So what you actually have to give see is that this, this strip has consecutive blacks of let's say 2 but you want consecutive blacks of 3 or more. So what you can do is if I just convert this white to black then they will complete black strip of length let's say 4 but I want a of 3 length so that is also fine. So you just have to convert minimum number of whites like positions on this strip so that I will get at least k consecutive black points on this particular strip. That's the overall like large problem of this like the like the overall question for this problem okay so how you can do that now if i somehow because i want k consecutive blacks what i can do is i can check for every window of size k i will just check that for every window of size k what is the number of black let's say uh like what's a black uh, segments on that particular window of size k so i will check for let's say every window of size 3 how many blacks are there Okay, and uh, if I know the number of blacks, I, I know that the size is k, I can directly know how many number of whites will be there. Okay, so if I know number of whites on a particular position, I can directly just have to know that if I convert this number of whites in this particular segment, I will get a complete segment of size k that is of black color. Now I just want to minimize the number of white over all the k, like all the segments of size k. That's the overall logic here. So what you'll do is that you just have to form, let's say a prefix array of what number like how many blacks are there till any particular i so you just have to make like a prefix sum of the number of blacks i have till the particular i and then you have to just do a subtraction of i and i minus k what is the particular value of blacks and then you can directly just solve this out so nothing much completed here as well that's just a problem of prefix sums so naturally take down to the code part so that will become more clear to you so what i have done here is that this is the thing input of the string then this is the a then you just have to make a prefix sums what you can see that this is just a prefix sums of finding out what is the number of blacks till a particular ith point and then you just have to what you what you just have to do is that what is the number of number of black you're like what is the minimum number of white points you have to convert to black points so the maximum is let's say answer is k because they are a segment of size k so the maximum can the change i can make is k so i will like initialize the answer to k then I have iterated from the start like the value from k because I want at least k uh, like points in the segment. So I'll start from k till the end n and I just want to find out what is the number of blacks in any segment of size k. So that is how I can get and then I subtract it from k. How will get how many number of whites are there in a, in a particular segment of k and I just want to minimize with temp and I just print the answer. So that's the logic, uh, very simple logic to find out the answer for this. Okay. Let us move on to the e problem. The e problem is it is also not too difficult, but I'll help you help you to visualize it very easily so that it will become more clear to you. So you are given that you have N goods. Okay. Now N is even now you bought a store. I of like, so you bought, you bought N goods. You, you just say that you, you have N goods and every good has a weight of AI. Okay. Now you want to sell out these goods and the selling will be done so that you have to make N by two packages. So let's say N is even. That's why you have to make half the packages and each package you have to place two goods it's pretty simple okay so the number of goods you have you have n like even goods you will divide these goods into n by two packages every package has two goods and the weight of the package is like whatever goods you will put the, the two weights uh, come like added to each other now the cost of that particular package consisting of those two items is the what you can say like a uh, floor of the summation of the two uh, box like the two items divided by k k is given to you now a value of k fixed value is given to you now that is the actual revenue you will earn by selling that particular package now you have to just pair up these goods such that you will get the maximum profit as of like selling out these goods that's the whole problem now you might be thinking that okay what's very difficult in that the, the difficult point in this is that you have to do the like the floor of it and doing the floor it can happen that you will lose your revenue if you do not like divide the goods evenly or properly 
Now I'll tell you how, like what's the actual problem here. So let's say that you have the goods. Uh, let's take an example only. So that will be concrete. Three, two, seven, one, four, eight. Three, two, seven, one, four, eight. And K is equal to three. Okay. Now what you'll do here is that let's say that if I just divide them into like, just take the two boxes like this and divide it and just like put it the divided by three. Now what will happen is that if I take this, that is five divided by three, then the floor is equal to one. Okay. Now the, the bad part here is that it is equal to one. That is fine. Now there is some extra weight that got lost because let's say if I do a mod, then it is two. Like five mod two is like five mod three is equal to because let's say like what you are observing here is that even if I have a package of let's say only size three, three divided by three is also giving me a total value of one only. Like I will get a total revenue of one only if I got a total weight of five or if I got a total weight of three. Okay. If I add this two value in the in the package, I do this packaging, then I have these items of size three and two. Then I got a total weight of five. If I divided by three, that is the K that is given to you. I will get a total revenue of one that is five divided by three. But if I just make like, just assume that if I even make a package of only one item that is equal to three. And if I divided by three, I will still get a value of one. So this adding this block in this particular, like this package, like this item in this package is waste. I hope you get the point. That is why it, like it is bad to just put randomly. So I have to as think that how I can not do this waste. Now why it like the, why is wasting happen? The wasting is happened because like the extra, like whatever is three mod two, like this mod value is wh whatever this mod value is that is creating the extra waste. So I just have to ensure that whatever I will get from here, that is extra and here from extra that should add and should not create any waste that will be used as our benefit for us. I hope you get the point. That's the overall thing that you have to learn from here that I will be like, I will be adding three divided by two, two divided by one, like two. So what I'll initially do is that I will take every item and divide it by K because that's the, like, that's the value I will be getting definitely no problem. Why? Because let's say three divided by two, I will be getting uh, three divided by like two divided by three. I will be getting seven divided by three. I will be getting, but the extra value that is getting into waste. I will be not getting that, but what I can do is I can pair up the waste in such a way that I will somehow cumulatively get some benefit out of it. Let's understand it more clearly. So what I'm trying to do is let's first divide every value by this K equal to three. So and also add how much value I will get as a revenue. If uh, I will just put them into like, if I just buy all the pairs, like I package all the items. So this is, let's say the waste value. The waste is just take this particular value and mod it with three. Okay. What? So this mod is zero because three mod three is equal to zero. This will get two. This will get six. So one, this will get one. This will get a mod of let's say one okay and this will get a mod of two, six, seven, two. okay now what you can directly observe here is that every item that like if i somehow pair these two items what you can observe is if i pair these two items then i will get two plus seven now it will become nine now nine is completely divisible by three and that's the wonder of here that I will not lose anything because if I divide it by three, I will get complete three, nothing as a remainder. So that's what our main motive is that I want to somehow pair out these items so that it will get a complete pair as it is not like nothing is wasted. So what you can observe is that if I pair this and this, it will, so this is two, the, the, the waste coming from this item is two and waste coming from this is one. And if I pair them, they completely get equal to three. And if I do this mod three, then I will get one more item. That is like, I'm combining two ways and getting us a new item, like a new revenue. I hope you get the point. So if I just divide three by like three divided by three, I will get a revenue of one. That is fine. 
but I will get zero as remainder. If I this do, I will do two over two divided by three. I will get a remainder of two, and I get zero revenue. Okay, so th that is why taking this into any of the packages will give me zero revenue by this item. But if I take the waste that is two and add it with the waste of any other item, if I take this item into a package, I will get a revenue of let's say seven divided by three that is equal to two. But I will also get a waste of one. Now, if I take the waste from one from this box, like from this item and this item, and put them into a same package, now the waste will also come like accumulate, and it will become a three value. So this will get me zero. This will get me two. But this one will also give me like this waste will combine. It will divide by three as well, and I will get some extra value. So this is only up to three. But let's say that like they is k is up to let's say hundred. So the mod values can be up to hundred, like it can be one, zero, so on. So there can be multiple mod values. So what you can do is that you have that I have waste of two, I have waste of one, I have waste of one, and so on. So what you can directly do is you have to somehow know how many because I can only pair waste of two with waste of one, or waste like I can only pair a waste of like a value with a value that is larger such that the like k can give me some cumulative value. So I can make let's say a uh, array which stores us that okay one two three let's say it is of let's say seven so three four five six so let's say it is six okay now what you will do is that I will find out after doing this modeler that I have few items that we like there are five items that that is giving me a waste of one there is let's say uh, two items that is giving me a waste of six like there are three items four five and one. That is one item that is giving me a waste of five. Now let's say that I have the total k is equal to seven. Okay. Now what I'll do, I just have to make pairs of these ways such that my k mod seven will be helpful, so that I will get more out of it. So I'll make two pointers. It just becomes a game of two pointers in which I have to just make how many number of pairs I can get such that the value is equal to k. Yeah, it's a very standard problem. So I just have to make two pairs and. I can make a pair of six and seven. So if I can make a pair of six and seven, what I'll do is that how many pairs are there? Because I have some waste of five, like number of waste of size one is five, and number of pairs of size six is two. So the minimum of both of them, because I can make two pairs, and like and this will cancel out. This will become zero. Now I have zero left, but I have still left three here. So what I can do is now I will move this pointer to this this position. Okay, and then like I will keep on moving these pointers, like moving from left to right, and like similarly, like I I can then this match one and five. Now this will become less than k, so I will move this to this position as well, and then we'll check that okay, can this will again form seven? Yes, this will again form seven. So how many pairs I can form, and I will just take out as many pairs I can form, which will combine the waste and give me more revenue, and that's the overall revenue you can get. So that's the overall logic for this problem. Let us move on to the code part of this as well. So. It's pretty simple, but you just have to understand what's the core logic behind it. So let it open. Yep. So what I've done here is that this is a. Then I've taken the input of all the products I have, the items I have. Then the answer, the actual answer is a i divided by k. Like every element divided by k, I will get the revenue of that. And similarly, I will also get the number of waste I'll get. The waste is a i mod k. Okay. And I will just update it in a i five. A i five. Now, like the AFI is equal to AFI K, so I have all the items I have. I have. Now, what I'll do, I'll like you can you can do it this in any manner also. You can make the cumulative sum. That is also what you can do. I have also done in another manner also. What you can do is that you have all the items, you will sort them out. Now you have all the numbers because the value of numbers is also very small. What you can do is that I, you, you will get all the values. That is zero, two, two, one, one, and also on. You will sort them. So this is also sorted form. You will also like sort them. If you sort them, now you have two pointers starting end, and you will keep on checking that if I take the last value and first value, if they becomes greater than or equal to k, then my answer will increment by one. And similarly, I'll move my start and end both by one position, and the start is moved from like left position and end is moved to the right, right to left. So that like I have taken both of these values to form a pair. Now they are useless to me. Let us move down to the next pair. If they similarly again form a pair, you will keep on adding answer. If you do not form a pair, I will make my s to one. I will move the smaller one, not the larger one, because moving the larger one will decrease the total value la very large in compared to moving the smaller one. So it's beneficial to move the smaller one. So if the mode greater than equal to k, then I will put 
like pop it out as a pair make them into a package and the waste will be taken into consideration become greater than or equal to k and give me some profit out of it if it is not i will make the smaller pointer move to the left hand side up to the right hand side and similarly checking it out and this is the value 